Hi, I'm a discussioner here. Most of you out there probably don't know me or have never met me, but there are those of you that do, and the ones that know me the best are probably aware that I don't really get upset. I mean, I do from time to time, but it's a very rare thing. Now, recently I watched a video made by Coctopus Prime, and I have to say I could barely contain myself while I was watching this video. Coctopus's video was him going over a video clip from not Fox News, but CNN, where all three of the commentators frequently argued that this is a Christian nation. Not simply that this was a Christian nation, but that the idea that this was a Christian nation was so far above reproach that it barely even warranted mentioning, despite the fact that they asserted it over and over again. Now, the gentleman in the video I actually, for the most part, liked, despite his assertion that this was a Christian nation. He, unlike the ladies, at least said that atheists and agnostics had a constitutional right to complain and petition the government. The other two commenters, both ladies, were of the opinion that atheists just need to shut up. Not just to shut up, but to shut up and stop persecuting Christians, and insisting over and over again that prayer should be in schools. Literally in the same breath complaining that there is no persecution against atheists while describing the persecution she wishes to impose upon atheists. Now I have to say, Coctopus did an excellent job responding to the either hypocritical or just plain factually inaccurate statements made by the pundits on this CNN piece. He perhaps referred to the pundits as stupid bitches a few too many times for my personal taste. But that being said, I actually have no factual basis to disagree with his assessment. What I was dying to do was to just walk up to them and hand them each a constitution and ask them to show me where it says that this is a Christian nation. I also wanted to ask them what they thought it meant for this country to be a Christian nation. And most of all, I wanted to ask the lady on the left if she knew that no prayer in school just meant no teacher-led prayer and that students were allowed to pray as much as they wanted because I think she was actually kind of ignorant about that fact. So as I'm watching this video and as I see these pundits continue to talk and discuss their points, it's becoming harder and harder for me to maintain my usual objective calm. And eventually I just can't listen to it anymore. And all of a sudden, all of the arguments, all of the facts, all of the debates, all of the reasons it all goes out the window, and all I'm left with is one question, one single question. Why? Why do you even want it to be a Christian nation? I don't want this to be an atheist nation. I don't want a naturalism we trust to be on our money, and I certainly don't want state-funded schools beginning their instructional periods by having the teachers lead the classroom in a recognition of their not being a god. Now I know most people don't believe this, but if you want this to be a Christian nation, or a Muslim nation, or a nation of anything other than equal individuals, then what you want is tyranny. Do not mistake this for propaganda, empty rhetoric, or exaggeration. When I say you want tyranny, I say this because you are, by definition, advocating for a system in which the majority oppresses and imposes their beliefs on a minority, against their will. You are literally saying that your beliefs should, or already do, have special privileges that you want your personal religion to be the basis for laws for the society as a whole, even if the only justification for these laws is that they appear in your religious text. Do not think that it's made better by the fact that you will tolerate other religions so long as they recognize that the society and government is Christian. It is no better than tolerating other races walking on the sidewalk as long as they step aside and bow to you as you pass. Our nation was founded upon the principle of e pluribus unum, out of many, one, not some living under the many. Again, most don't realize it, but any time someone proudly says that this is a Christian nation, what they are really taking pride in is tyranny. Now, if I'm wrong, 
and this being a Christian nation does not confer any special privileges onto Christians, if it is not the basis for any discrimination against other religions or other belief systems, if it does not mean that laws can be based solely upon Christian scripture, then why, why does it matter to you whether or not this is considered a Christian nation?